So I've been struggling to hit those greens. On average, I've been hitting around five or six greens per round in regulation. Oh, it's a bit leaky again. No, out to the right again. But lately, I've been using a move in my swing that has upped that. It's taken me from five or six on average to 11 greens in regulation in my last round with a couple as well that I'd add in there making it around 13 because they were on the fringe. So I'm not allowed to do that because it's not technically a green and reg, but they were close. We were still putting, which is quite a different, different feeling for me. Normally I'm pin high, but not with putter in my hand. I'm trying to save something with a wedge, trying to get up and down, trying to scramble a score. And so this move has been a game changer. And I'm hoping that when things come together, because then I obviously need my putting to click as well, it's gonna be a real score shifter. So that move, came from Annabelle Fuller. So when I filmed with Annabelle a few weeks ago, I showed Annabelle my swing. We'd played together already in Glen Eagles at a pro-am actually. So that was an incredible three days of getting to play with Annabelle. And I showed Annabelle my swing and I said, you know what, I've really been missing everything out to the right, off the tee, into the green. I can just be on the back foot. I'm struggling to hit those greens in reg. And fairways in regulation, obviously that would be ideal as well, but I'm focused more on the greens at the moment because I think that's where the scoring for me really happens, where I play anyway, where I miss it off the tee. Rarely am I in trouble that many times that it's that penalising. It might be a knockout and having to, you know, chip it out from the trees on one or two holes, but it's not as punishing as when you're missing greens. And if you've already missed the fairway and then you're missing the green, you're really on the back foot. And that's been how I've been playing golf lately until I started using this move. And what I love about it is I didn't even have to groove it much on the range. It's more just that sense of a feeling, something that I have in my swing, a patience, if you will, from the top of my swing, that's meant that my ball striking has improved. I'm, the sound on my strikes are better, but I'm also more accurate. I feel like I can aim at the target now, and most of the time, get near to it. Whereas before, as you know, or as you might have seen, I'd leak off and I'd be on, on the kind of struggle trying to save something. So that move, what Annabelle shared with me, is that what I was doing when I got to the top of my swing, which is still a little bit active in the hands, which we'll work on over the winter, and still a little bit collapsy at the top, which again, we'll work, work on over the winter. I'm really trying to save the heavy technique, tweaking for the winter months, which don't feel that far away here in the UK. But for me, I just wanna focus at the moment on playing on really trying to enter those competitions, put myself under a sense of pressure and enjoy it, enjoy playing in those comps. And so for me to have something that was just a move I could focus on, a feeling that I can hook onto and have a sense of clarity with rather than a whole load of confusion because I'm thinking of too many things in my swing, that has just felt like it's given me a real boost of confidence. So that move, Annabelle showed me that what I was doing once I get to the top, and we know I'm a little bit long, I'm a little bit loose, is I would flick, I'd almost throw my hands. And I know this, I know I've struggled with casting, but I didn't realize that maybe what it was doing is as I got to the top, it was just kind of completely throwing my sequence out. So I would then throw the arms or sort of flick them down, get stuck and have to get out the way. So a lot of the time I'd feel almost a bit trapped, like I couldn't fully get through the ball. And I'd feel this with irons, wedges, driver, any full swing. But the tip that Annabelle gave me, the move that has been helping me hit more greens in regulation is this, that when I get to the top, just to let my arms drop, let them fall first. And I've come across this feeling before, I've come across this move before to try and fix the casting, but I was thinking of it more as letting the club drop and so as a feeling to me the one and it didn't really click for me I'd get to the top and I'd want to feel the club go and kind of drop this way the shift and the real click moment was actually feeling like it's the arms that drop and then when I'm here once they've made that drop I then feel like I can move through the ball together with the arms and body connected rather than out of sequence and causing me to get stuck and create that out to the right leaky shot. So let's see if I can put that move into action now on the second here at West Surrey. As we know, this is a hole that I very often leak off to the right. And so I really would like to hit this green more often. And I have been since using this move as well as other greens that I've been struggling with as well.
and it just feels like such a relief to be walking up with putter rather than looking for my ball over there on the, on the right side trying to think gosh how am I going to get this up and down especially as conditions change and we want to be able to go for targets more into the green but also know that the lies that we might find ourselves with around the green are going to start getting a little bit muddy and I would much rather be in a spot where I can give my ball a bit of a clean and have putter in hand rather than a wedge but that said we've still got some work to do on the putting and to make sure that we can really make the most of hitting these greens in regulation. So I'm just gonna try, we've got my nemesis here, a downhill putt, quite a lengthy one, but I'm just happy to have putter in hand. Oh, scared of that. I was scared of that. We've got some work to do. This is the part now that I do really need to put some work into the old putter. Because I've been using more of my wedges lately, as we know, with not hitting many greens. So it's trying to make the most of having these chances. Phew.